and welcome to Philadelphia on the banks of the Delaware. Where today the, we got here, the Whips have won six games in a row dating back to the regular season, which matches the lot of key piece on offense for the second year in a row. Here's their lineup powered by Ticketmaster. Watch Graham Hasek. He all Terps all the time. Fear the Turtle, Matt Dunn picked up his second defensive player of the year. Bonaventure Bonnies. They're back. They're here today playing for a champion. We are off and running in the 2024 PLL Cash App Championship. You got a couple of beasts at the stripe with Nardella for the whips. And place on the leaderboard, 154 playoff face-off wins. Here's Matt Rambo, MVP in 2019, and he's on the board early in two big-time players in big-time games, just 26 seconds in. When the lights are bright, Nine and White wants the rock, and I am shocked that Graham... The Water Dogs in an instant classic last season on this same field. Third year in a row we played the championship here at Subaru Park. Williams gets free, Dobson makes his first save of the day, vacuumed up by... Dave ...type games for a guy who's in his first year as a full-time starter. Kyle Burnlor, former goalie of the year, is watching. Adam Patra, another rookie, his shot deflected before it... Bar. Here's Williams. Second in the league in goals in the regular season. Got his hands free. It's a shot clock reset, but it's scooped up by the Archers. The rookie made how dominant the Archers were defensively last week. The previous PLL record for fewest goals allowed in any game was three. They gave up just one. There's O'Keefe with a rip on the run. It was in this game a 16 to 11 win for the Archers back in week five. That was right before the All-Star game and right before the turnaround for the Whips. As Rambo shoots wide. First six games, two and four. Last six. Six and oh. Count it for Ryan Conrad. Another win in his third consecutive championship. And he had a hat trick the last two years playing for Philly. In the open space. You can see Woodward, 77 in orange. He wants to support the on-ball matchup. And he cups. This is the problem the Whips present. When you got Anderson and Conrad, you put a pole on one of those two. That's a two, and Dobson saw it all the way from Dunn. And basically, whoever you... About a minute left before Tom Schreiber scored the game winner. They've got 11. Matt Moore trapped on defense. Williams takes the shot. Dobson makes his fourth save. Dobson. Now from exits, T.J. Malone. He won Rookie of the Year Friday night. Spent six years at Penn State. Takes the shot. He dops and missed the cage. That he could play at the highest level to collegiate ranks. How he went the third round is beyond me. Plays the two-man here with his fellow rookie, Levi Anderson. Put the shoulder down and missed it. Back to college. Drafted by the Redwoods, then traded to the Whips early in the year. Shot clock is low. Williams denied by Dobson, I think. Then Utah, and, and every phase, they're setting Chris picks, and they're moving their feet Rambo everywhere. Rambo playing bully ball again, trying to get top side. Rolls back to his right hand, shoots, and Dobson snares it out of the air. Back from the reigning champs, Chris Bates, their head coach, said, it's ours until they rip it out of our hands. Conrad, the lefty shot. Dobson's got six saves in the first quarter. Those short stick D middies have been so good for the Archers. There's Bond playing offense. Bon Marr, who were rookies last year, and then Pedersen, a rookie this year. O'Keefe has the Archers on the board. He's... Mac O'Keefe is no Dennis. There's no Tom Schreiber. Where are you finding your offense? Grant Eamon has to step. Central champ. And his roster was intact the first four years of the season, right? This year, the sixth year of the PLL, he had five rookies. Play. Patra, there's one of the rookies, makes it three zip whips. What a turnaround, a two-goal swing. You know, look, with the spider cam, substituting through the box, and the archers are not... A and they destroyed Chaos, 10-1 in the semis. Yeah, they're not in a groove right now. More turnovers than shots. Amen threads the needle. Krabs turns it aside. Matt Moore. Here in Philadelphia. Beautiful championship Feels Sunday. hotter in the yeah. sun, Drew. Feels hotter hey, in the Q, sun. Hey, Q, how is the sun affecting the game, if at all? Right. It's not. It's tough on the tablets, but everything else is Moore fun. goes back to the crease. And he scores the first. Matt Moore thought he had one about 30 seconds ago, and now he does. Moore does a good job once he gets underneath, snaking back, getting that stick in his right hand. I haven't seen a, a heavy dose of Matt Moore, who is so talented. Looks like he's... Looks like he got hit around the throat area. He's struggling, almost vomiting. And struggling.
to find his breath. Adapt and evolve year over year. Super impressive and the numbers back it up. You look back at the whips, their 2020 championship team. They've got eight guys from that roster playing today. Base, and he looks good in his first championship. The rookie's got two goals. With the defense, both unassisted goals. He's a rookie from Loyola where he played attack and midfield throughout. He had five last week in the win over the Atlas. Good call, RB. Shot clock below five as Rambo gets top side against Jeffrey Wright. He shot stops and makes the section. Conrad gets hammered from behind. It was Woodward on the trail check. He loads it up. He scores! Wow! Take a bow, rookie! He owned that play from the cause turnover. We might have some transition. Nuh uh. Woodward causes the turnover, pushes. Going toe to toe all afternoon. Here's Connor Fields. He has the short stick matchup after the pick. Against Wheaton Jackaboyce, 5 on 55. On the feed, there he is. It's Trey LeClaire. He cranks it up at 97 miles an hour to tie the game. What a rip by the right. He's the right guy to float. Let the Dodgers grab all the attention to get his KG vet. How about Jake Bernhardt winning that faceoff for Maryland? The veteran captain, 83, takes the shot himself. Airmails at 23. To shoot. Fourth ring, an outdoor lacrosse. That would make some history of time for most all time. Rambo rings it off the crossbar. Ground ball is still loose. He's going to get in the body and make him play the leverage game that he feels so confident he can win. Here's Amen. Draws the slide. Zapatello picks him up, the rookie. Amen, the jump shot. Archers take the lead. A weird thing here, Garth. This is actually set up by Ryan Amber. Ryan Ambler comes sprinting out of the box. Occupy that area with the long pole. And he can feast. Make no mistake about it. Grand Amen is one. And when you get him behind, he's got so many options in there. He just felt like he owned goal line extended on Zapatello. There's a two bomb and it goes. It's Alex Mus Whips back in front just like that. Pointer and seven percent. Mazone teased this up after he shot it or during the motion of shooting it. The head of the stick popped off, which would make that stick deem it illegal at that point in time. We got to take that two pointer off the board. Set the ball across the goal. Yeah, that's my point. So it wipes off Mazone's first goal of the whole summer, and the archers are still in front. Williams is stopped on the doorstep. Dot Back to Amen up top. Approaching five minutes into the second quarter. Archers holding on to their first lead today. They trailed four to one. Ambler in front. Great trail check. Here's Ryan Ambler, the teammate of the year on the crease dive. And the Westnick, one of the best goalies of all time. That's ten saves for Brett Dobson. He's locked in again. Here's Van Overbeck takes the low shot. Backed up by Matt Moore in baseball matchup features the Dodgers and the Braves. Coverage begins with baseball tonight, Sunday night countdown at 6 Eastern, 3 Pacific. A two ball from Colin. 2017, I spent some time with them on their national championship run for Maryland. John Tillman, the head coach. Two characters, but when the ship for the first time together because Heacock wasn't part of those back-to-back -back runs. Been with the Chrome the last three years. Here's O'Keefe takes the shot. Nice save by Krebs. That efficiency to the PLL. He was a finalist for goalie of the year. He was unbelievable last week. Same thing today. That's his 12th save. That's a stop. That 12th is save. And what Dobson's doing well right now is moving his feet, going pipe to pipe, getting his body involved. This is a grass field. Manicure beautifully. There's a bouncer. Goal in the first half. Well, if the ball didn't bounce their way with the cage, meanwhile, Conrad is just behind that fray, and the ball just kind of luckily trips. Yes. Up to 48 points, including the playoffs in his rookie year. Utah polling Levi Anderson. Anderson trying to go to work. It's the shot off his Woodward last night in Texas. I'm sure that'll be on the docket. Q was there, right? Unbelievable. What, did you hop on the red eye from Austin? Nah, 5.50 a.m. They got what they wanted, but they couldn't execute. They got Patra on a short stick. Williams has it, five to shoot. He gets it out to Rambo. They're going to have to hustle to get a shot off. He just throws it to LL history at the awards Friday night, street lacrosse yesterday, the Founders' dinner as well. Now the championship, which is shaping up to be 
a dandy is. So Keith misses from two. He met matched up with Tim Muller, kind of the unsung hero of this Whip Snakes defense. He gets it to O'Keefe from his knees, and Krebs makes the save. He Dunn switches on to him. Aggressive switch there. Whip Snakes defensively since the All-Star break have been the best team in the league. O'Keefe gets back to his left hand and bounces it home. Goals for Mac O'Keefe and the Archers strike first in the second half. It looks like O'Keefe in the slick stick protection right here when he switches it back to his left. He avoids the slip. Off is pretty remarkable. Not a lot of face-off guys can win it, switch to their off hand, and get a legit shot on net. And Overbeck turned aside. Here's Malone, sets it up. Conrad, that'll count, I think it does. Got a hat trick in the championship for the third year in a row. And all three of his ender, Malone's gonna get his defender hung up. He's just gonna survey off ball. There's that little pick inside. You can see he got... Sisselberger won the face off cleanly. Archer's operating in that 32 second shot clock. Moore gets back to his right hand. A step on Zapatello and he beats Krebs. When you go early in the shot clock, there's just a little bit more. Jack Zapatello, who's holding his opponents in the second half of the season to under 20%. You got to give a ton of credit to their defensive coordinator, P.T. Ricci, the job he does with both their scout and scheme. They haven't proved the postseason. They're at 67%, so they've been executing these last couple games. Shannon Chuck for two, one of the best long-distance shooters in team to shoot. Amen can go as quickly as anyone in the sport. On the rollback outside the arc, the underhand feed, a two-bomb is on the way in the sub-game from camp, but yet to score. Adam Potra, the other rookie, has two goals. That exits Williams. There's Rambo, lots of space. It was blocked before it got to Dobb. Best defensive coordinator in the pro league by far. Outdoor and indoor, four NLL titles with the Philadelphia Wings. He's a Philly guy, and he has the short stick matchup now against Bond. Five to shoot. Conrad has a hat trick already. He gets a step, shoots. Dobson with a kick save. That's so how they won their first two championships. Why they're in position for another one here. Williams on the jumper, and Dobson tracks it down. A 10 second difference. Here's Patra on the invert. The backhand shovel and Dobson is dialed in. Section 131 is all St. Bonaventure. Yes, I was just going to say, those are his college boys. And when he picked up that grounder, they were standing. Last ditch effort and a Cowboy on a great setup from Ryan Ambler. Let's start on the backhand. Patra, Dobson stays big, just eats it. Yeah. Archers over the Water Dogs, 15 to 14. More feeds. Leclerc scores. Lead of the afternoon. Second goal for Trey Leclerc, and it's 9 6 Utah. He found his. There was a funny sound as he took this shot, kind of a ping. I think it may have hit, partially deflected off that. It's a two man game. Packman at Ohio State played some D-Mitty just to stick on this roster and with Schreiber out for the year. Leclerc starting midfielder. O'Keefe. That's it's a hat trick. That's Fitz. 10 6 Utah. We've seen two goals across his face with a fake into a twister. I, I mean, you think he's going to shoot right away and then maybe he'll throw one. And they take that extra beat with a fake. With that abbreviated shot clock, now just 20 to shoot for Maryland. Where do they find offense against this stiff Utah defense? Patra's got two goals today. Miss X comes away with it. A first-round pick this year by the Whips, a former Terp. He starts the break. Malone stops and pops and missed the net. Jim Stagnita said it this week. Matt Rambo, he's still the guy you go to when you really need a goal, and they need one now. Heacock is going to get flagged. Go on the other one. Fields can't get his hands free. Leclerc feeds the crease, and Krabs makes the save. It's Van Over back it in defensively, and Ryan Dobson down the stretch. Malone looking for an outlet from X. 
Woodward picks him up. Malone shoots off. The 15 of them against the whips. Archer's in transition. Krebs is out of his oh! net. Makes a save. He made a save. Eight yards away from the goal. Gave it right to Fields. And he made. Welcome to the party, Connor Fields. What a crazy setters in his own hands. Tries to get rid of it right there. Oh, Fields, Fields comes up. Almost got in his way as he tried to make that save on Fields. So it's back to a four-goal lead. Rambo from X, Conrad couldn't stuff it. At this point in time in the game, that goal could be worth more. Stagnita has opted not to challenge. O'Keefe from the wing. They're very, very conscious of the two-point shot right now, according to Tony Rich. They're D.C. See what the whips drew up in the timeout. Here's Chanichuk makes the catch. He's on the crease, and he stuffs it past Dobson. And the comeback kids do it again. Chanichuk, the veteran, is on the board. By Jim Stagnita and offensive coordinator Drew Snyder. They stole that one from Notre Dame. That's a play we saw this spring. Yeah, I love picking up the ground ball. Coming up on two minutes left in the fourth. Here's Zed Williams. Chanichuk sets the screen. Williams a wild shot. Ambler tries to swim out of trouble and draws the flag. It'll go on Puglisi. Ryan Ambler, the veteran, what a smart play. Alley-oop for O'Keefe. For Mac O'Keefe. And it should be the dagger. It's because at the end of last season, their starting defense looked drastically different than this line. Everyone thinks, oh, they won it last year. They're, they're back at it with their defense. Well, guess what? It took time, and it's been a beautiful thing to watch. And that man is the back. Celebration is on. It's still theirs until someone rips it out of their hands. The Archers are champions again.